Right, so I'm gonna have to introduce this vlog this morning. It's been a bit of a uh, rocky start to say the least. It's currently, I think, half 12. I woke up at 10 to 12, which is probably one of the latest I've woken up, so. Bit, a bit annoyed at myself. I didn't put an alarm on today, so that's why. Um, what is going on? Right, so I um, I'm going to walk you through the day of my life in quarantine, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Um, but a little bit different thing is that I'm actually fasting, so I'm obviously not going to be showing you what I'm eating throughout the way throughout the day because, frankly, I'm not eating. So there we are, and. No, I just thought it'd be kind of a cool thing to show you all. Um, do ignore my appearance. I'm literally a mess. But later on, I'm going to be showing you guys like what me and my dad do to prepare our food um, for later. It's quite a fun experience. So yeah, I'm just going to try and look a bit less dead because I've got a few things going on today. I have a Google like chat meeting later um, with my like society because I got elected social sec. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, we are having like weekly meetings. I am um, not tired, but you know when you wake up and you just feel a bit groggy. That's how I feel. So yeah, today's gonna start. I'm gonna. I might do something with my hair. I mean, it's a bit of a mess. Like my natural hair for reference. I didn't put anything in it. It's just a bit of a joke. Like I don't ever wear it like this. But lockdown. I'm trying to trying to make it trying to make it healthier. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. You guys are seeing the real Sophia. This is the real Sophia. Um, so yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have to do something with my hair, and maybe put a little bit of something on the face, uh, just to look a bit more presentable, but also because it's a bit of fun. I like putting on makeup before you before we move on. Maybe uh follow my instagram it's at underscore sophia's gram and i would very much appreciate it right so i have managed to stack you up there i'm just gonna show you my my outfit so i've just oh my god i've got my necklace but it's tangled i can't be bothered so i've got this white top which is from misguided which was in my last tour if you didn't see it you should just saying you don't want to miss it and, and then these are some joggers which i from which are from Topshop, they weren't in the last haul though because he didn't come in time. But yeah, I love them, they're like wide leg, that really hurt. They're wide leg, and yeah, they're really comfy. And now I literally have like I don't even know 10 minutes before my little hangout, and I haven't done anything um, of substance to make myself look a bit more presentable. So I'm just going to chuck my head back on it solves whole manner of issues i think sometimes anyway most of the time i look like a dead rat but what can you do i'm just gonna brush my brows okay so i finished the call it was kind of interesting but we've mainly covered like what we need to um already my arm kind of hurts um so yeah and now i'm just doing like a bit of work that I need to submit. I mean, it's not due until next Tuesday, but I'm gonna try and get out of the way now because I feel like that'll be nice. Peep the photosynthesis poster. Poster. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna make some Moroccan pancakes for you all later. I'm gonna set you down there. Cool. Um, make some Moroccan pancakes later as well. Hopefully. It's quite easy to make, so I feel like that'll be kind of fun. Just to show you guys, like, what we get up to. Um, it's currently 10 to 3, and I'm not feeling too hungry. Um, so basically, a little get to know about, like, Ramadan and things. So you fast from the hours of sunrise to sunset, and that means, like, no food and no drink including water that's like a very common question like what not even water yeah no no water either so i haven't had a drink today 
um, etc. I think the hardest part is that like this year, like my first year of uni, I've gotten used to having like a cup of coffee, like every single day. I really like coffee now and I never used to. And I love oat milk, so oat milk lattes. Like, I put the little oat milk in the little Nespresso frother thing and then chuck it in. Um, but yeah, I do miss it. I miss having a coffee in the morning. It's like kind of sad. If you guys do have any questions about any of this, um, like leave it down below if you are curious because I'm happy to try and answer your questions for you. I just think it's really nice when people um, put the effort into like learning about a religion and stuff like um, I like learning about different religions and like what they practice and things like that. It's uh, Ramadan and like fasting is like one of our five pillars. You fast in the month of Ramadan and yeah, that's that. But I am currently okay. So I thought I would just update you guys on that one. I am fine and I'm pretty much used to it now. We're in the last 10 days. Yeah, we're in the last 10 days, hopefully. Um, and yeah, it's going good. It's gone quite fast if I'm honest. It's obviously really hard being inside i find is a good and a bad thing during ramadan i don't really know how to explain it but like staying inside has allowed me to have a lot more like reflection time because it's also a time of reflection and like just thinking about what kind of person you are you want to be um so yeah on one hand like that's really good and it means that like you're at home to like do your prayers and time and things like that but also on the other hand, being outside, like doing things, like, you know, going to school, going to lectures and stuff like that. I think socialising with people other than your family, obviously it's great to spend time with your family, don't get me wrong, but also socialising outside of that can be helpful. And I feel like it helps the day to go by. It separates the day into like little segments. Um, so yeah, that is one thing that like, like there are two sides to being inside i feel at the end of ramadan we have eid um celebration time um what normally it is you normally go out for food you normally get gifts although mom and dad don't really bring me gifts anymore but it's fine it's fine it's okay you go to prayers in the morning first of all and whilst of course not be able to this year which is sad yeah you basically just have a day of like celebrating eating food and basically just gaining any weight that you did lose it's pretty great and it's just a celebration it's a bit like christmas for muslims that's me and that is my current update at 3 p.m so yeah i'm sorry that you guys have to listen to me talk i thought i'd just update you guys i am currently watching a bit of netflix um you know just to like chill out a bit because i um i've got a bit of a headache to be honest with you i kind of just want to rest a little bit um it's not my nice feeling and yeah i'm just watching at the moment on netflix i'm watching dead to me um i already watched season one so i was quite excited for season two to come out because it was kind of left on a bit of a cliffhanger obviously no spoilers but yeah i'm really enjoying it so this is dead to me i am on episode six of season two so yeah um, I really think that you guys should watch this. Season 1 was really good as well. And Season 2 is not disappointing either. So definitely have a look. Okay, so we're going to make some Moroccan pancakes now. And um, basically I've got all my stuff here, which I'm going to show you what's going to happen. But I'm kind of just using like mugs to measure stuff out because I don't really use scales. Well, I'm saying I don't, but my dad doesn't. Got some semolina though. Um, so we have two cups of that. One's a bit less full than the other, but that wasn't on purpose. I would probably use them like the same. And then some flour. This is just all purpose, like plain flour. And then um, I've got some like yeast, basically just sat in some water and it's like activating right now. Um, and then we've got baking powder. Um, I'd say that's about um, two, three tablespoons of baking powder. Three, two tablespoons, sorry. And then I'd say this is like, a tablespoon and a half of sugar and i'd say uh one one teaspoon of salt so yeah okay so now you're actually um pan you're off the tripod so we're gonna just show you from here i'm gonna add the flour firstly and just pop that into the bowl and then semolina and basically it's one part flour to two parts semolina and that's just how it is um i don't really know why 
and the way that they're actually going to end up looking is this is going to make quite a lot the way they're actually going to end up looking is um a bit like crumpets but like very very thin crumpets um they're not crumpets obviously i'm not sure what the recipe is for making crumpets i'm i wonder if it's similar but yeah anyway so we're just going to stir this together now with a little whisk I'd say that's all mixed together now and we're just going to add in our sugar, our salt and, our water, and then the baking powder. Okay, so you've added in all the dry ingredients and now you just want to get some lukewarm water. Add in about half and just add some more in. Just stirring it up again and just dropping that in. Make sure you get it all. This is just one of those like um, little packets, like seven grams. Gonna add in the rest of our water jug okay so now it's finished we've got the right consistency like so and now we just leave it to rest for a few minutes oh my god so we've got a very good treat for later that i am very excited for these are amazing um baklavas and it's just like a mix and it's like a turkish dessert and yeah, this is my favorite and I love them so much. So I'm very excited. So we have here a little baking tray with some um, baking paper on it. And that's just to put the pancakes on after they've cooked. So once that pan heats up, we're just gonna, just one ladle like this, quite a small ladle to be honest. We don't want big pancakes, these are quite small ones. And then just pop it on. And hopefully what should happen if you've done it right, is bubbles should start forming on the surface, but the first pancake never really goes that well, so. So this is an example of the uh, the bubbles forming. Kind of looks a bit like a crumpet, but like I said before, it's a lot thinner, so it's not a crumpet. Um, yeah. So basically, once you take off the first pancake, what you want to do is take the pan and put it in some um, cold water. Um, just, yeah, you'll hear the noise. And that's just to the back, don't do that to the front. It's gonna get a bit more batter and chuck it on again. Yeah. And then we'll see how this one goes. That one actually wasn't too bad for the first one. So this was the first pancake, as you can see. We'd want more holes ideally, um, just around everywhere pretty much. You want it to be full of holes. Again. Bob's your uncle. It's a very easy recipe and they come out really great. Obviously it's a bit annoying to keep doing that, but you just wouldn't get the same results if you didn't. So here I actually forgot to um, wet the pan between pancakes and I mean this is an example of what happens like it's just not what you want really is it. So we are about to eat and I thought I would just show you guys what I'm going to be eating today. So traditionally we have a date and some milk to break the fast but this isn't actually milk milk it's a vanilla smoothie thing they're really good. And this is lentil soup, but normally we would have a Moroccan soup. Um, it's like, it's just really nice as well, but this is good too. My dad made this today. And then this is my date. And then we've got my pancakes that I made. So yeah, that's why I normally have to like break the fast and then we eat something a bit more 
like a bit later on because you get a bit full when you break fast so yeah but i'll get back to you guys in a bit okay so now it's um 20 to 11 yeah so we broke fast like two hours ago now i've been basically just trying to drink as much water as possible because i had a bit of a headache today and don't really want that again tomorrow um, I think it was just because I didn't hydrate myself enough the past few days um, because I always forget to drink water in the short amount of time that I have because I do like to get a bit of sleep in before I wake up again to eat breakfast at like three and in the vlog now just because I'll probably forget in a bit I'm quite tired so I'm gonna probably just head to bed but sorry if it wasn't um interactive enough but I just thought I would show you like what a typical day in my quarantine is like um it, not every day is going to be an amazing day do you know what i mean so this is just like literally casual normal what i do you know watch a bit of netflix um a fast cook yeah my pancakes went down a tree everyone likes them and i haven't actually had one yet because i was so full but i'm gonna have one now with my coffee so i'm quite excited to have one i hope you guys enjoy got a bit of insight if you do have any questions do leave them below sorry if i'm being a bit quiet everyone not everyone is asleep but some people are asleep thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed i've got two other videos up at the moment um and i'm trying to be as consistent as possible trying to upload every saturday and so far i've been consistent um, and if you did enjoy this and also maybe uh follow my instagram it's at underscore spheresgram and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video